Okay, hopefully this is... It's really hard <clears throat> for me to see because this phone is so close to me, what's in frame and what's not, so... Hopefully I'm... <clears throat> Flem in frame. Um, I just did a quick, some antler punch work to get started on this preform. I've got quite a bit of body, so I'd be able to um, work with the buffalo at this point. Um, when I start, I'd usually start doing like little small punch flakes, like I would pressure, just to get a feel for it, and to help set up platforms. I'll be chasing the sun here, but hopefully we'll be in it long enough. See that nice smooth flake? Antler, finish antler punching this stuff gets a lot get more gougy. into that little step there. If you, turn, if you notice your terminations are getting a little steppy, just back off on the angles. See, that was down, just to get us a little bit steeper and keep our body. Now, when I work down at the base, if you drive in, the flakes will want to wrap. If you have too much thickness here, they'll want to wrap to the support. So I try to hold it without jamming in too much. <laughs> See, I've got my nice taper going on the bottom, on the stem. And I didn't jam in to cause that flake to follow the support. Heavy edge. Here we go.
sometimes steps are kind of unavoidable on this, so you just have to make sure you can catch up to them. Hopefully this one will push through there nicely. Let's go and get a little step. Oops, I just made too much of a bump there. Picking off the angle and just doing a little trimming. There we go. So I don't have to do all that with a pressure flaker. Nice. Clean up with those steps here. Oops, made another one. Might be a little coarser area up in here. And this is zone right there. We don't want to get any thinner than that. We're not to Clean that up nicely. We eventually get another one there, but I definitely definitely don't want to get too much thinner. Just do a little trimming down there and try to get a like There we 
to go. So, okay, that's as thin as I want to go there. And this is super clean and smooth. So some shearing, we're in good shape to do pressure up to this point. Now I just need to get a couple flakes here and here, and then we'll... I could pressure flake it at this stage, but do some more punching. Let's go over again. I should have set up better in the sun. Hopefully you guys can see this. You can use other bones or wood to strike your buffalo. Probably ought to do that instead of use the antler. It'd be fun to do some ear deedings out of this, and that's not what they're making. My tip is gonna need a little dressing at some point. like that one so I don't want to lose width to fix that be a pressure flake too. Yeah, if you get too heavy, you just have to, it's usually because it's a little bit too high in a spot. I see that bump right there that I was trying to catch. Just a little too aggressive. my tip when you go and you're cruising and then you hit a wall it's because your your platforms are getting a little too heavy for this stage so but this is a good stage i like the body 
and how to be able to pressure flake some here. So that's a good stopping point. If I started working up at the tip after some work on this, filing this down, I could do some alternate punch work, but I think that I'm at a good stage to pressure, so I'll stop.